Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my setup for recording long bike rides on a GoPro camera using an external battery. This is a good option for people who don't want to stop and change batteries on long bike rides or motorcycle rides. It's also useful for shooting video in the winter when the cold temperatures really hurt your battery life. Basically this is pretty simple. All you need to do is connect your GoPro to an external battery like this Anchor portable charger and leave it plugged in for the duration of your ride. With a setup like this, you're really only limited by the size of your micro SD card. I've got a 128 gigabyte card in my GoPro and with this, I can record for hours at basically any resolution that I want. Now, as you can see, I'm still rocking the old Hero 7 Black, but this setup works the same with the newer GoPros like the Hero 9 and the Hero 10. Although with those models, you will need to purchase a special $20 pass through door that allows you to plug a charging cable into the camera while you're using it. One thing I actually prefer about the Hero 7 is that it has this little removable cover that you can simply take off like this and then pop the GoPro back into the case and then plug in your charging cable. One thing to keep in mind is that this setup means your GoPro is no longer waterproof. On the Hero 9 and the Hero 10, GoPro claims the pass-through door with the charging cable is water resistant. As far as my Hero 7, I've definitely gotten rained on with this setup and crashed into a couple of snowbanks and nothing bad has happened, but I wouldn't push it. Now, when I record my bike rides, I like to use a chest mount. I think this gives you the most interesting perspective, kind of a cockpit view versus the floating disembodied head view you get from a helmet mount. The chest mount also makes it very easy to connect an external battery. What I like to do is carry my external battery in a backpack, thread the cable through the shoulder strap on my backpack to help secure it. And then when I'm ready to ride, I just turn on the camera and plug in the cable. Basically any backpack will work for this. It does help if it has a little side compartment like this to place the battery in because that'll keep the battery and the camera closer together so that the cable isn't constantly yanking on the camera, tilting it diagonally and messing up your shot. Now these Anchor brand batteries usually come with a little case like this. And for a little extra security, I like to place the battery in the case and then loop the closure string through one of the straps on the backpack just to make sure I don't lose my battery somewhere on the trail. The battery that I'm using is the Anchor PowerCore 13000. It's a 13,000 milliamp hour portable charger and it weighs in at 8.5 ounces. To me, this is a good compromise between weight and capacity. I used to have a 22,000 milliamp hour charger, but that thing weighed almost a full pound and the battery capacity was overkill for my needs anyway. In my experience, for something like this, you could even get away with a much smaller battery, like a 10,000 or a 6,700 milliamp hour battery, and you would be able to shoot all day long in your GoPro with no problems. One quick tip, before you start shooting, you're gonna wanna make sure the camera is actually pulling electricity from the battery. The way that you can tell this is working is the little charging icon right here. If you don't see that, you might wanna check whether your charger has a power button that you need to press to wake up the battery. That's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you're interested in more how-to videos or tutorials. If you like this video, do me a favor and hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.